All right, guys. So Seth just got done baling this, and so I'm working at picking up bales because there's a slight chance of rain. So um, we're going to try to get them put in the shed yet this evening. There's getting to be a little better chance as the days go on. So I thought, well, may as well get them put away. So uh, that's what we're working on this evening. So we got a little bit of a problem here, so I'm gonna see what I can do to fix it, or maybe I'll just make a bigger problem. I'm not sure yet, but anyhow, we got we got a lot of lopsided bales that are falling, so I have to figure out a solution to the problem. Hoping I can build a better wall and get more hay inside but because we're going to be full up here in a little bit
So as you can see, we got a little issue with the bales. Our baler uh, does great when you have long stemmed hay. And we the, the stuff we did this time, it was a lot shorter. And it, it just doesn't make the hardest bale. And it, it uh, over time, it just kind of softens up. And as you can see, kind of flops. So I'm gonna adjust a few bales around and uh, see if I can get them put inside so if it rains, they'll be inside. Well guys, we had a slight issue. Uh, our hay field behind the house has a little bit of uh, not forage clover, it's actually more like yard clover uh, that we can't get rid of. It doesn't dry out properly well. I thought the hay was dry when I checked it to bale. Apparently there's some wet clumps. We got some heat coming off the bales in this stack, so we gotta take them outside and hopefully get them dried out. Y'all can see here where the heat's starting to affect the hay. And it's nice and warm. This bale right here is smoking a little bit. So you can see here the uh, hot bales that we have out of the shed right now. Had some issues with a little bit of wet hay that was getting a little hot. Apparently they were a little too high moisture when we baled them. So when you do that, they can get uh, not just warm, they can get hot inside. They can actually spontaneously combust into fire. We had that happen years ago. Um, but anyhow, so we, we set a lot of these bales back outside and they, it's been had a nice dry spell now and they uh, hopefully are getting cooled down and getting dried out so they won't spoil because they, they can either mold or they can uh, they can get so hot that it caramelizes inside so we're going to check them a little bit here and see well this one feels good Yeah, hopefully we're getting there. We maybe we can stack them inside soon. You can see how loose and floppy these bales are. They're not even round anymore. Um, when we got that different baler, we were told that we could pack quite a bit more in with that baler. But um, this was usually it, you can with the long hay. But when you're doing like third and fourth cutting, the hay's kind of short and it really struggles to make a round bale. And so we're having some issues with stacks falling over. Them stacked in the other end as well that we needed to bring out. And then I did find some straw there. Uh, one of the neighbors really needed some straw right now um, before harvest was ready. So I ended up selling him some straw. And so I was moving the hay bales around and well, we'll look in the other end. This is a bale of straw. Actually, I think it's about half grass and half straw is a mixed one. Yeah, so this is what the bale should look like. It should be nice and round. And this is what, when we're doing short hay, how it came out. So not so good. So when I got the straw out the other day, um, I was trying to smooth up the ground below it and I was watching the stack and well, actually, had a little mishap because some bales that I thought looked pretty secure were not. And when I turned, um, I had two bales fall on me. And well, let's just say um, it was a little traumatic. And uh, uh, the bales weigh approximately 900 pounds a piece. And two of them fell on me and kind of face planted me in the ground, which is why I got a little bit of a scab there but I will say I'm healing nicely I don't have any uh, broken bones or you know it's I could definitely well for one thing my leg went sideways and uh, when I looked down my my britches were ripped from one end to the other and down to the knees I'm not sure how that happened but it was always good to uh, make sure you know you got clean underwear on like your mom said for if you have an accident well any kind of underwear was good that day. I'm just praising the Lord that I'm still here. The, the plan going forward is we've talked to a dealer already. We're probably going to trade balers to a kind that we know makes 
round bales so I, we can have a lot better stacks and I think it'll just be safer and just just a better deal overall so now we, we've got a mess of bales out here but we probably just are not going to stack them as high because we want to be safe so we're gonna we'll stack them back in when we're sure that they're dry and um, yeah we'll just be careful save these for a souvenir these are the pants I had on somehow yeah, I'm not sure how it happened, but I think I did the splits, and I've never done the splits before, but my pants definitely did the splits. But anyhow, at least I get to spend a few more years with this lady, hopefully. 31 years so far. The Lord's definitely blessed me. All right, I think this is the end of the video, guys. Thanks for watching. Remember to hit the like button. Bye.